Hi guys, how is it going today? So today is now January 31st here. It's a Wednesday, it's about 1 p.m. Central Standard Time and we're going to talk about Icon. So if you guys got from my, I hope you guys understand that yesterday was a joke, okay? When I wrote um, on my Twitter there, we were going to correct to negative 1000, okay? Because I want you guys to know that crypto doesn't go to negative first of all, okay? And also, it was clearly a joke, once again, because it was in the negative. So I hope none of you guys actually took that seriously when I made that joke. Usually, whenever the market really mass panics, or when people say something um, that's a little bit off, you know, off to me, I will usually troll Twitter, right? It's like, do you guys remember what one time I said Neil was going to go to $2, everybody should sell? Um, when it was like $50, right? And... Um, and yeah, usually whenever people might rub me the wrong way on Twitter, I'll just do outrageous things to troll them on purpose. Like say we go to negative a thousand Satoshi. So I hope you guys get my sense of humor a little bit there, just from the funny videos that I try to put out. So anyways, if you guys enjoy these videos that I make, I'd really appreciate an upvote on Steemit. And make sure you guys also like, subscribe, and share it to all this stuff on YouTube and on Twitter as well. And if you guys think I'm doing a fantastic job, consider me consider buying me a coffee or a beer or something for Luna and I. And it all goes towards our cryptocurrency piggy bank. Don't ever feel obligated, but some, pe some people just like to let me know I'm doing a great job. And other than that, let's talk about ICX, alright? I'm actually done this video already if anybody caught that upload it was so weird guys um i i recorded this video earlier already but when i played it back there it had hygen's voice or hygen's however you pronounce his name his voice over my video and it's so weird because i don't watch any single one of his videos um at all right and i'm not even sure why i would be playing it or why his voice was uh was over my video there that was the weirdest thing that i have ever seen or heard like uh, yeah so i couldn't even begin to explain what was going on there so i apologize for that video so i want to go over icx very quickly okay so sometimes in a pattern i'm just going to go over this for example right here pattern goes like this one two three four five and a lot of the times, wave 4 or wave 5, sorry, wave 4 right there, it can do something a little bit odd, right? ABC, a lot of the times, just goes to like that, right? But sometimes we do get an extended type of correction, which is very common. And the way we will see it often is perhaps like this. So I think that a lot of people have been panicking. You guys have to absolutely stick to your stop loss. And if you stick to your stop loss and you stick to your game plan, then I think a lot of things will actually conform to be true here if we are just a little bit patience, or sorry, patient. And um, the most important thing to exercise here, guys, is patience, right? So we get a fourth wave substructure for all of here. So uh, this whole thing is considered four, whether you put this there or there. What matters is this fractal in there is considered wave four, okay? And then now we're gonna try to puncture the top here to start our fifth wave, right? So now let's go over what we see right here already first. And what we do see is pretty much the exact same thing. Would you guys agree? Take a look at it. We see our first wave up, our second correction, our third wave goes up like that, right? And then now we might be getting an A, B, C, D, and E type of correction right here. So to me, I'm, I'm actually going to enter this trade right here. Right? We have to remember that without risk, there's absolutely no possibility of reward. And I want to go over this quick flip a coin scenario with you guys. So imagine you are flipping a coin, all right? You're flipping a coin and your buddy says to you, just for example, let's change this right here to, yeah, that's good, five, okay? So now I hope that you guys are familiarizing yourself with the risk to reward because I'm not going to explain what it is in every single video. It's like I, go, I go through it um, a little bit quite often already okay so out of 10 games you're flipping a coin and now heads or tails of course right so out of 10 games let's say you can win five games and let's say you can actually lose five games as well so risk to reward ratio of five to one means that you can win five times more than you can lose so out of five possible games we're actually looking at a win of uh, five hundred dollars each so that's twenty five hundred dollars right and now for a uh, loss at five games that's five hundred dollars so now if you take your total wins which is twenty five hundred dollars and you subtract that by your losses of five hundred dollars your total net profit 
is actually about two thousand dollars so we ask ourselves i've already entered a trade guys i entered all the way at 7200 i caught literally the bottom now it is just a matter of being patient so i've entered this trade already from the bottom right it's all about timing and my risk to reward ratio is 5.0 now i will consider taking profit of course at the top like i always do but you guys need to ask yourselves is this worth the trade to you right is this risk worth it to you you guys have to remember that there are no guaranteed things whatsoever in trading okay we always have to be risking our money in order to gain something without risk there's absolutely no possibility of reward so with the five to one risk to reward ratio if you were flipping a coin 10 times and you actually won 50 50 percent right this would make sense to keep playing because over time you'll obviously keep winning make sure you guys watch the the risk management video that i'm going to link at the end of this video so for the people that have been uh, panic selling right um a lot of newer traders will absolutely panic sell but what we need to understand that this is a trend line this is a pattern that is in this pattern right here is called an ascending triangle where it tries to break the top constantly right and then we have a wedge that's forming but because we're getting a series of lower low sort of higher lows and we're getting the exact same top it eventually wants to break through the top and not go any lower so basically that's what an ascending triangle pattern is so i asked myself is this a good risk to reward ratio for me to take and absolutely it's good because i don't mind risk at all i understand that in order to possibly profit excuse my raspy voice today i only got about four hours of sleep crypto kind of uh keeps me up all day and night sometimes and i don't really get a lot of rest because the market will most likely dictate my sleeping schedule i'm extremely tired today actually just let me have a sip of my coffee mm. Alrighty. so i really hope that we are starting to understand what risk management is it's one of the most vital things to understand in trading we have to think of risk management as this how can we okay if if we cannot manage our risk how can we manage our money right if we can't manage our money how do we possibly win over time and keep our money as well so you have to think of this as money management so you have to be able to manage your risk you have to be able to manage your money without being able to manage any of these things it's really hard to hang on to that money right so you have to think of it as the next level of trading for risk management right so this i think is a phenomenal trade to take for myself i'm no financial advisor everybody has a difference um, in opinion when it comes to entering and also their tolerance and it's all relative risk is all relative and so is entry right everyone's loss um tolerance to a loss is very different as well I plan to have my stop loss around 7200 maybe 7100 and another thing that we really need to understand is that um is profit taking and i always talk about profit taking right i mean people on twitter were um were a little bit negative and um, i'm happy to block those people just so you guys know i don't i don't tolerate anything like that on twitter or on my youtube at all i um focus on positivity in the community and a lot of the times if people are very negative um you know as a group who it's it's kind of um unnecessary and unprovoked at the same time right i will um i'll troll the market for fun and I'll, I'll do those funny kind of things because um just to make fun of fun of some people where i'll write like you know hey negative negative 2000 target and obviously i'm completely joking about that guys and um and the people that are rude or making fun of other people on twitter etc on my twitter or youtube i don't tolerate that guys and i i immediately block you guys because i want to encourage and support a very positive cryptocurrency community i want us to flourish as a team i want us to be supportive of each other where we share ideas and don't put each other down you know so so that's the kind of community that i want to build and i'm going to lead by example by constantly doing that so i really need to emphasize folks that we have to consider taking some profit when it reaches a peak, right? Because it could very well reverse on us. So what I did, right, with my position, I obviously entered around here last time, right? Obviously, I entered around there. I wrote it to about 9,000 Satoshi. And, and um, no, sorry, not here. I didn't, I didn't do that. My apologies. I bought it on entry around 9,100, or sorry, 8,100 Satoshi. And I wrote it to about 9K. 
unhappy there with about a 10% gain, which was pretty big to me. I ha I still have some of it, right? So I, I took half of my profit already, put it that way, right? And now if I, I bought back some in over here, which is all house money to me now, it is all house money to me, meaning that I've already taken some of my profit and I've already added more to my position, which is money that I've already profited. So you have to think of it like that as well, where you're taking some money off of the table, you're taking some risk off the table as well by laddering your profits, right? As much as we would like to take the profit, all of the profit at the top, sometimes it is extremely important for us to take profit near the top and perhaps buy a little bit more back in at a slightly cheaper price to minimize our risk. So the way I'm seeing this right now is a simple A, B, C, D, and E type of corrective pattern. So to myself, I'd almost be silly not to take this 5 to 1 risk to reward ratio right here. So these are my quick thoughts on Icon. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update and hopefully everyone understands that without risk, there's absolutely no possibility of reward. And we always have to take these chances and put our money on the line in order to win something down the road, right? There are absolutely no guaranteed wins in this market at all. There's only risks that we take. If anyone thinks that every single trade should be or could be a guaranteed win, and if you're expecting calls, and if you're expecting signals, it's not really the best way to trade, folks. The best way to trade is to make sure that we have a lot of potential setups coming up, we manage our risk, and we look for great entries with great risk-to-reward setups as well. So I hope that this video has reassured some people, especially the people that are holding a large amount right now. So I'm going to stick to my stop loss very tight between 72, 7100 Satoshi. And you know, if for some reason we get a failed impulse wave, we can also expect a 6600 to 6800 Satoshi target right over here for now first, right? And then we'll talk more about a correction when something happens down the road. So other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. I'd really appreciate an upvote on Steemit. And make sure you also like, subscribe, and share all this stuff on YouTube and on Twitter as well. And if you guys especially want to let me know I'm doing a great job, please feel free to donate to the Luna and Philcon cryptocurrency piggy bank. But don't ever feel obligated. It just goes towards Luna's uh, vet bills for down the road, right? That's all that it is. Other than that, have yourselves a great day. And like I always say, please remember that without r risk, there's absolutely no possibility of reward. So if you guys are thinking that this is a sure thing, Please, please, please get your mind out of that mentality and understand that no things are a sure thing, all right? So other than that, have yourselves a great day, traders, and I look forward to hearing more from you down the road. Bye now.